Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to the 4-H uh, County Agent Report for the month of March. Uh, March 1st, I want to remind everyone that the Frio County Junior Livestock Show Board will be meeting in Dilly at 6 o'clock and that is our annual meeting. If anyone is interested in uh, rule changes or anything of that sort, you're welcome to attend. On March the 6th, uh, there will be a District 12 uh, Roundup Registration starts at, uh, and it's $15 per participant. On the 8th, the Frio County Junior, uh, the Frio County 4-H Photography Judging Contest is uh, happening here at the Extension Office. On the 20th, uh, the District 12 4-H Livestock Judging Team uh, registration starts and it's $20 per participant and you'll have to go to 4-H Connect to do that. And then on the 21st is the District 12 4-H Photography Deadline, so uh, we'll inform everyone after the uh, County Judging uh, Photography Judging Contest uh, who needs to register for the District 12 4-H uh, Contest. And uh, as reminders, I want to remind everyone that uh, the buyer's list is not ready yet, but as soon as it is, we'll let everybody know. And remember that you need to turn in your thank you cards and letters uh, to the Extension Office in the open uh, stamped envelope to the Extension Office in order for you to receive your county, your Frio County Junior Livestock Show check. Hi and welcome to the SEH Report. The only updates that I have is for photography contest, fashion storyboard, and walk across Texas. I'm going to get into more details about the county photography contest. So the contest is March 8th, but you turn in your photos March 7th. Okay, that is important. You have all day on March 7th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. to turn in your photos. All we ask is an 8x10 printout with no frames. Um, when you turn in your photos, we'll have a little piece of paper, a little slip for you to fill out, your name, your, your age, and then the, what category you're submitting. For district, so what is from, from the county show, we'll move on to district. The district deadline to submit your photos is March 21st. You're going to register online through 4-H Connect. Now, every let's say you win five categories, you are eligible to enter each of those categories, but it is an $8 um, photo submission. Okay, So every entry you submit at the district level is an $8 entry fee. Uh, so something to consider. But this year, though, we're going to ask something different. So winners from the county contest, please come and meet with us. Either email me or stop by the office. We want to check your digital format of your photo. So district this year is going to be a little more strict on the format and quality of your photo. Here are some guidelines of what they're looking for. So I'll be checking for that to make sure you qualify because I don't want them to um, disqualify you for any reason like that. <laughs> For our fashion storyboard, um, that is also March 8th. So what we're going to have you do is March 7th, same thing as photography, March 7th is the day you turn in your posters. Okay, so you have from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. to turn in your photos on March 7th. And then the contest is March 8th. Um, storyboard's a little bit different. Uh, those who've been able to go to the meetings or as well as the workshops, um, do you know you have to draw your design as well as spin out a poster in the way that you know you have to put back examples, what was your inspiration, there's a form that you have to fill out. If you don't have that form, please stop by the office or the day of and you can fill it out. Um, it's required for the district level and we're going to use that requirement for the county level as well. So winners from the fashion storyboard from county show will move on to district. The district deadline to submit for your fashion storyboard is March 27th and you will do the same process. You will register online through 4-H Connect. Photo submission for this count for the count district level is ten dollars per entry, and again we have a county show for both photography and fashion show March seven and eight. Seventh is when March seventh is when you turn in your photos and posters, and March eighth is when we judge them. So good luck to everyone who's participating. Walk across Texas. So walk across Texas is back again. So those who's ready to get back in shape or get active again, this is a perfect opportunity to participate in the program. We're going to kick it off on March 5th. Uh, we'll have a smoothie bike on the actual kickoff here at the conference center from 5.30 all the way to 6.30. If you need help registering, please stop by the office or um, we also have another video explaining how to register. But it's pretty simple. It's been updated. Uh, this is the link. It'll be fun. It'll be great. We're going to have many prizes 
for everyone who participates, and the first 50 participants who registered through Walk Across Texas will get a prize. Um, also, to get us going and make sure we do participate through Walk Across Texas, we'll be hosting a Thursday's Walk and Talk. So every Thursday from March 8th through April 26th, we'll be meeting here at the conference room at 6 o'clock p.m. doing a walking DVD. So come join us, come walk with us, and we'll also have a vegetable or fruit for you to try. Thanks for watching, and that's all we have for March.